Hello everybody and welcome back to her new playing some more Carable Space Program. So we seen this already. But we don't want the bomb. Bomb is just extra weight. So we're gonna need a helper for this one. Uh we will put this. And it can stay on might burn these wings off, but that's perfectly fine with me. And we're going to need a decoupler, maybe. Yeah, probably a good idea to put. Oh yeah, and I do want to take... Parachute, you're going off. Actually... I think I might be able to put rocket engine like like um something. I'll leave that. If you already know that works, so we'll put that there. And we're gonna need some struts to get this so it don't at least fall. No, that one didn't attach. That one didn't attach either. Oh well. So this is going to be Mark 3. The launch pad. And if this don't... Okay, so SAS needs to be enabled. Go. And those next rockets should not enable until that next stage. So we should get to going pretty high. We'll just time warp a little bit. And back down. Lose some extra baggage. Oh, there. Now it's good. Falling. Oh my god. <laughs> that one rocket down there. We will throttle him up. Those are overheating. That's bad. That's really bad. It's really, really bad. It's not good. Hopefully they run out of fuel before they even overheat. Or else we could have just a ginormous explosion on our hands. So we want to get this to a point where it stops overheating but keeps us going. And that should be right around here. We just have to keep an eye on it. Just keep throttling in. There we go. We're holding our speed. As long as we hold speed, we're good. And we already made it a, a quite a distance out of the atmosphere. Oh. Dang it. So, these guys are going to die. Didn't think they were going to be that unfortunate today, but they are. So we will barrel roll back to the ground. I know what we did wrong, and I'm going to make a few tweaks. Let me just make the few tweaks right now. So we know this all works. It doesn't look as pretty as I would like. You know what? As of right now, that's good. But this does nothing. So let's add in a booster. And we will add in something along the lines of... One of these. With... Max thrust 50, max. Put you there. And then we will put a decoupler. Oh, we'll put an advanced SAS module just above it, actually. There we go. We'll put some more wings on this beast. Wings help. They do. And we're going to put a decoupler here. Oh, he has a decoupler. Cool. And that should be pretty good. This wobbles quite a bit, so I'm going to try and secure it up. I don't know how this is going to work. We're just trying to get close to the moon as it is. We don't need to get that close. Okay, so put those there. 
Also secure these. And we should secure no, these all the way up to here. That should save it. Now, yes, we're going to clear the launch pad. Make sure SAS is enabled before we get going. Oh god. Launch, do something. That was horribly wrong. What'd I do? Whew. One too many stages. Space Center. So, how about we get rid of this? Mm, I don't really wanna. Let's just take these off. Where are these struts? How do you delete them? I don't know what happened to him. Okay, so we'll just take those off and put them back. <laughs> yes. Well, let's just try it again. Could be that this thing's just too tall and can't support its own weight, though. Ooh, we're doing good. <laughs> this thing is gonna take off once we get up a little bit higher. So our G-Force meter is actually doing pretty good. It's still in the green. This thing's heavier than mm, anything you could think of. And you can see these just, it's working to keep this thing from falling over. So we got green light for the next stage, and we're gonna launch that next stage just because we we have to, or else this thing's gonna flop over. <laughs> Spaceships are not supposed to bend that way. That's usually a bad sign, a very bad sign. I'm surprised it's still connected. We did end up losing our one little spaceship there, or. Thing, can't think of the name of it. The one rocket engine. That's what it is. So our descent is or ascent is going to slow down because we did go to this one. We do have an advanced SAS module on here, so it's going to help us a lot more with rotation and stuff like that. And we should be going for quite a ways. So we'll just wait until this fuel tank runs out, and then we'll go on to the next one. This one is actually going to make us our farthest. But I'm going to redo the entire bottom on Mark IV. But this two-stage top, it seems pretty nice. But the on the bottom, it seems not too nice. Make sure that's far away from us before taking off. And we will just go. We are already halfway out of the atmosphere when I launched off the very last stage. So we are going to be getting a long, long way. And we are almost out of orbit. So I could actually throttle down and just let this thing go. Since we are out of planet's gravity atmosphere. Just throttle up a little bit. I might have to actually add a few more tanks and take off that one rocket engine because that would, seems like it would make more sense. So let's. Where's the moon? The Mun. So we not that way. Hold F and tilt, 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 tilt. Good. And then we have to other way. Tilt, 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 tilt. Good. We're gonna throttle up as much as we can just to change our direction. That's all we could do. So we're gonna see how close we get. Uh, we're still going to crash into the earth but we did this is the farthest we've ever made it closest to the moon we've ever gotten turn SAS off and we're going to spin to our deaths and the game just auto saved because it's going to help me so much while I die
bullet time. And I can see the world starting to generate. And here we come, world. I love you. Love you so much. So yeah. Mark II was a giant success. But I th am thinking we should just get rid of this center column and stick with the stuff like the solid boosters. But we are going to need... Ooh, jet fuel is lighter and more efficient. How much is storage capacity? One five? Five hundred. No. So we're going to add one more here. And you, I don't know about you, basic jet engine we could put on there. Mark four. Yes, I know my numen 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 numerals. The <laughs> launch. Clear the launch pad, and we're gonna go. Clearing the launch pad for me. SAS enabled. Throttle. Go. So we should be pretty good on everything. Those top boosters will fire, and we are going to definitely get out of the atmosphere and make it at the least of halfway to the moon. Uh, we're going to have to. Ooh, that's not good. That's really not good. These solid fuel boosters are going to have to run out. Lose them. Make ours. And then go! There we go. That looks horrible. Oh god, this is not going to end well. Definitely the bottom section is going to go away in the next video. Because that is not a good sign of a spaceship. It should not wobble like that. And I don't think that little tiny engine is doing anything. Oh god! Go! So we still can't save it. Oh, uh, no. SAS, why you failed me? Okay. Nosedive. 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 Oh, whoa. That came off. That's not good. Well, I think I'll end it with these Kerblings with their splashdown. I'm sorry, guys. The G-Force is probably going to kill you. I'll try and save you. Tilt it. And hit the fuel tank first. Oh wait, that's a cockpit. Boom. See y'all later.